<laughs> yeah, okay. All right, all right. So, you know, like the fart sound effect sounds. You know, we all know the ones, like that. But a fart sound effect. Don't you think it's kind of ridiculous that those may have been recorded like 20 or 30 years ago? Somebody farted into a mic, and it's been used for 30 fucking years. Imagine being that guy or being that guy's kids. And it's like, yeah, that's that's me up there. I'm I farted into a mic 25 years ago. And it's just it's everywhere. Would you well, how do how would you feel about that? Imagine like you're just like watching a movie or something and you hear your fart. You farted. Is it embarrassing or is it like, yep, I get a lot of those residuals for the fart sounds I did. Yeah. I recorded 20 of them, and they're all used, and they, they, they use the same ones from, like, the same library for the last 30 years. About how does, how does that guy feel now that he's, like, 60? A thousand people just left. <laughs> they're obviously not strong enough. <laughs> yeah, they, me and Holly were just sitting there, and it's just like, like, yeah, like, we just heard that fart sound. That guy did, somebody had to have done that. You think it's somebody? I saw somebody say that they think it was a mouth. Somebody could do. I don't think so. Some of those are, are very, very real. <laughs> I don't know why I just picture. And I don't know. You can think I'm fucking stupid for this. I just think. I just see some guy just like, hey, yeah, Bill, we need like. A, uh, we need a fart sound, I guess. I'm just imagining the guy taking this, and it's like a standard microphone. It's the type of microphone that it's got a long cable connected, long, it's about at least 10 to 15 feet long. And it's plugged in somewhere, and it's got that metal top, like a stand-up routine. And the guy just puts it like right between his cheeks and just farts right into it. He's, he like presses it up there. That's what I see. 18 plus stream. It's been there for seven or eight years, okay? That... Warning has been here for a, a no. You I, get the kids out of here. Get the kids out of here. They never should have been here. They shouldn't be here. Get the kids out of here. And don't you think that the audio engineer, after Bill, like put the mic right up to where his ass is and did it, it was, and it ripped it. It was just awful. Do you think he's like, hey, Bill, that was fucking rancid. We should do another one, but this time don't put the microphone like up to your asshole. You should probably do it a little further away because that was fucking disgusting. I imagine just having two headphones on, just sitting there, and it's like, yeah, I don't know if we can, I don't think we should put that one in. Hershey kisses are good, and I know, I look. Dude, hey, man, hey, wait a minute, Hershey's tastes like puke, Hershey's tastes like somebody puked in your face. Yeah, it's, I still don't, I like it. Yeah, and if you smell the inside of a bag of M&Ms after there's no M&Ms in it, it smells like somebody shit in your bathroom an hour ago. We all know this. If you had any indication at all of what kind of player is playing the game of Team Fortress. So, in spawn, when you see that flog pyro in spawn, and it's like, what the fuck is that guy doing? It might be AFK. I uh, got really high and just ate, like, almost a whole bag of chocolates and AFK'd in the spawn as a flog pyro for an entire round. If you're wondering who is behind the flog pyro, yeah, that's... That's what we do. That's what we do. And and it, it got me thinking about, holy shit. I, di I just did that. I lost that match because of you. Yeah, I just, I had the vlog out and I was just sitting there just eating chocolate. <laughs> I was sitting there going, ah, I haven't really done anything this round. I think I walked out of the spawn and died once. And I think I fell asleep too. I think I fell asleep and woke up at the second round. So... <laughs> So that, if you're curious, that you're you're right, you're correct. I am that fog pyro. Yeah, and then I, I walk out of spawn, and I get the 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 flog up the with the uh, the mm meter whatever it's called, <laughs> and it's <laughs> a sniper. It's like, dude, you you he's way too far away, and just holding down the crit fire, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. Flog pyros, listen to me. I'm telling you, we have to be better. We have to be better. 
What's the best jam for peanut butter? Uh, that would be grape jelly. Or grape jam. In fact, I haven't had it in a long time, but they make this product where it's this weird spiral of 50-50 peanut butter and grape jam inside the same container. And there was a point when I was eating that shit out of the jar. I was eating it, I was eating it out of the jar for like 30 straight minutes, and I realized what was going on, and I had to stop it. Goobers, yeah. N.A. food. N.A. food. All right, yeah, well, hey, help you get, get yeah, yeah, go ahead and take your crisps and, and get the fuck out of here, all right? I'm going to eat goobers out of the jar, okay? What's some good British food? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the only thing I think of when I think of British food is just like... <laughs> Two big fucking sausages on a plate with a bunch of plain beans on it. And like that's it. That's like what I think of. But I would eat that. That sounds pretty damn good. Like that's fine. I would be okay with that. That's um this is not an insult to an entire country of people's food. No, I'm just I'm that's what I think of. I think of like two big sausages and like plain beans. And like I think a toast. Plain toast. I'm trying to think of what my, like, really favorite desserts are. And they are kind of American. Unless, like, where did... Like, banana cream pie, for instance. Who made that up? What? Where did... Who made the first banana cream pie? Who did that? That's your go-to dessert? I love banana... I have banana cream pie and banana pudding. Are two of my top desserts ever. And those of you that... Oh my god, dude, are you 80? Oh yeah, uh, slurp up the banana pudding, right, old man? No, you, you, you've you never eaten it. You've seen a bunch of old people eat it and you laugh at them, but go eat it. Eat it next time. And then you then you come back and talk. Believed to have originated in the Midwest of the United States. Okay, so that's American. It's great too. Oh, banana ripeness chart. Where do you like your banana? All right, hold on. I, I, let me actually get it like a decent run in and then we'll go over the banana ripeness because it's very specific for me. Because it depends on what you're doing with it. Is this is this going into a smoothie? Are you eating this? Is this being put on cereal? It's very important that we go over that. Uh, Alright, so ripeness. For a smoothie, I want that shit right before it's rotten. I want an overripe banana to be a good sweetener for a smoothie. How do you think about that? Yeah, I've got... Hold on. Currently got Tom Hanks voice. Let me hold on. If I want it really sweet, I would say like a little bit before being overripe is the best place to put it in a smoothie. But sometimes you really want it to have that really like sugary, sugariness. That's disgusting. Whatever. You don't have to eat it. But no. Okay. Is there peanut butter in it? If it's a peanut butter banana smoothie, then I don't want the bananas to be very ripe because I don't want them to overpower the peanut butter flavor. But then I don't want to use too much peanut butter because I don't actually want to overpower the banana flavor with the peanut butter. It's a very, very, very hard balance to get. What did this guy do to piss off so many skeletons? You know, I thought about this the other day. I mean, have we talked about this? But like the the, the prospect of like, oh, the bandits. Look out, adventurer. Make sure to kill the bandits that are surrounding us. There are like 70,000 fucking bandits in every video game and like 12 people that live in the town. What's going on here? There are more bandits than people that live in any of these towns, like times 100. At some point, are they bandits or is that just the entire human population outside? Oh, a pack of bandits surround our camp. It's me, you, that lady over there. And a healing well. Adventurer, go out and stop the, the encroaching bandits. It's about as big as a, a, a small country's worth of people out there. I'm gonna sneeze, I think. I apologize in advance, I cannot hit the mute button because... Well, actually, I could pause it, but... I don't want to lose the rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Jeez. 